Hi friends, I miss you all very much. I wish we were at school playing on the playground and riding our bikes and in the sandbox. I hope you got to enjoy Easter and Passover with family and that you're getting out and enjoying the sunshine. I'm going to read a book today that is Dion's favorite book. It's called The Mighty Splash. Once upon a time in the deep blue sea, there lived an octopus called Gus. All Gus wanted was to be as brave as his favorite superhero, the Mighty Splash. But there was one problem. Gus was scared of everything. Ooh, ah. If there was a storm, Gus hid. If there was a shadow, Gus swam away. And at night when it was dark, Gus trembled up and cuddled with his teddy. At school, Gus dressed up as a superhero and pretended he was as brave as the mighty Splash. But all his friends laughed at him and called him names. Ha ha, jelly legs, ha ha, big softy. Being brave is hard, thought Gus to himself sadly as he changed color and hid behind a rock. Then one morning, Gus had an idea. He would go on an adventure to find the Mighty Splash and ask him how to be brave. After packing his favorite seaweed sandwiches, Gus left the safety of his home and set out on his way. Gus swam over colorful reefs and through dark, scary caves. He swam past spooky, sunken ships and beneath big, crashing waves. He swam and he swam and he swam until his little tentacles could swim no more. But there was still no sign of the mighty splash. By now, Gus was a long, long way from home, and he was starting to feel a bit scared. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea swimming off on my own, he thought. Then, as he rested by a rock, Gus heard a frightened cry and saw a flash of white teeth and a huge gray fin. A group of small seal pups were trapped by an enormous shark. So what are you going to do? asked a voice. Gus looked down in surprise and saw a tiny old crab. Me? quivered Gus. What can I do? I'm just a little scared octopus. Everyone gets scared from time to time, said the crab. Even sharks. Did you know that some sharks are scared of the dark? Scared of the dark, thought Gus. That's it. Once the ink had drifted away, the seal pups thanked Gus and swam off to find their moms. You were right, said Gus to his new friend. That shark really was scared of the dark. Come on, let's get you home, chuckled the crab. Gus and the crab traveled back beneath big crashing waves, past spooky sunken ships, through dark scary caves, and over color colorful reefs until finally Gus was home. Before he knew it, Gus was being squeezed tightly in his mom's arms, all eight of them. Thanks for returning Gus home safely said Gus's mom to the old crab. You must have been very scared, Gus. Everyone gets scared from time to time, said Gus, even sharks. Don't be silly, said Gus's mom. And when Gus turned around to thank his new friend, the tiny old crab was gone in a mighty splash. The end, friends. Hope you enjoyed the book.
I'll see you soon.